Hey guys, so I'm back with another video and in this video we are going to continue on our BMI calculator app in .NET MAUI. So far we have this code and in last part we were here. We had this calculate BMI pressed button click uh, pressed event and then we have calculated this BMI and the next thing we are going to do was uh, to show the message on the basis of this BMI value but before that what I want to show you I want to show you how this will look on different platforms so I am on my Mac now and I will show you how the app is looking in Android and iOS iPhone so for Android we designed it on Windows for Android so it looks nice we have male female buttons we have this height slider width slider everything looks fine we have this calculate BMI button we have all this message and all this but if you look on iOS simulator this these icons male and this icon Mars this Venus icon you see these are kind of clipped from left top border and same goes with these height and width value labels this right so the first value it is kind of clipped and same goes for weight and then if you look uh, the this buttons design this is also different on both of these platforms so we are going to fix these we are going to try to uh, change our styles in our XML XAML to uh, so that both it looks similar on both of these platforms so we are going to implement the adaptive UI basically so without wasting any time let's continue so let's go to visual studio and i'm going to minimize this for now and we'll have this ios simulator here And first thing go to XML, yeah. So first thing we have these icons, which is male and female icons. So let's go to these icons and if we see um, where is it? Gender and after that we have these images. So looks like the width. We have width which we set to 20. This is not enough for iOS so what we can do we can change this 20 to we can have it on platform then on platform um, default value we could set default value that was 20 and then for iOS we need it 30 so you see this icon we can see this icon now or oh, let's try 25 25 is also fine right 20 was not fine mm -hmm. 25 so how it works it says on platform this 20 is default value so and then we specified ios explicitly so on ios it is going to take this value and on all other platforms which are not ios it will fall back to this default value so for android it is 20 for ios it is 25 so let's copy the same thing for the female icon mm, where is it yeah this one and this should also look fine now save 
and it's not so let's rerun and it's still not fine so looks like uh, for this one we need width uh, height so let's do the same thing for this one also so on platform default is 20 and for ios let's use 25 with this and still not let's try 30 30 oh the height is fine i guess the width is the issue in this case 35 35 looks okay right 35 yeah so 35 is fine so on all other platform it is 20 on ios it is 35 let's go to these labels this height value and width value so if we go to these hmm, heights value label is this one so for this what we can do maybe we can simply set padding so let's take five oh it is looking nice let's have it five only so the default five from all the sides and we'll do same for weight and it is good and changing value is working fine same goes with this one okay now next thing is let's see what's wrong with this button so if we go to this button this looks this one right image button and now margin we need first uh, left zero top minus 75 right let's add a margin from right this is fine how is it looking into uh, in android in android there was this margin but why is it not in this okay let's do this for this also and let's have it some what around 20 fine the next thing is the size of this image button height and width 155 corner radius 55 padding is 20 and for this hmm, something is we need to change something we need to check what is that something so 150 55 what if we change it to 75 okay so that means on ios the on android as i mentioned in my previous video uh, the corner radius it should be half of the height and width to make complete circle but on android it takes this padding also so that's why i had this 55 so 55 corner radius plus padding 20 so both of these sums up to 75 that was half of this height and width so that's why it was circle on android but for ios looks like this it does not consider this padding when calculating this corner radius so we are going to do the same thing for this corner radius so we would say on platform the default will be 55 and on ios it is going to be 75 and it looks nice now right or maybe we could um, reduce the size of this button right on android it was looking 
okay but it was a bit smaller but for ios this button is very big so let's shrink this button a bit for ios so we could do the same thing this on platform thing on for height and width both <clears throat> so let's do the same thing on platform default is this one and for ios we will have it let's try 100 how it looks with 100 same goes with width request and in that case the 75 will become 50 and no we need bigger than this so let's try 120 120 120 and in this this it should be 60 so 60 looks this looks fine and now this margin right so this margin it should uh, if we check on android this is fine the right margin is fine in android but it is not good for ios and the second thing is this top margin so if you see on android it was fine with negative 75 but for ios it is not okay on ios so we should change this now here comes the fun part we cannot use this on platform on these values so for example this margin it has uh, these four values comma separated four values so we cannot do this so for these kind of purpose we can use the explicit or we could say the expanded approach so we have image button dot we can set values using this approach so we will set it explicitly then we have this on idiom and on platform we are going to use on platform on idiom is uh, it on, using on idiom we could check if it is desktop or phone or tablet tv watch all these but for now we are just using android and ios so we are going to use on platform so on platform then type arguments so this margin margin is thickness right of type thickness so the type of this is going to be thickness and then we can use on and then we can use platform so this platform is default for default value so the default we know this was the default and in that default this 20 was not there right from right for android it was default then for ios we are going to use 20 for right and from top we need same half of height in this case so it should be 60 so it should be negative 60 and we have defined this margin so we can remove this from here and now it should be good and it is not good what happened something is not right let's see what is the issue here mm -hmm. this margin this is negative 75 that was also neg negative 75 so this needs to be negative 60 now so the same thing we are going to do for this grid let's paste it and instead of image button it will be grid and we can remove this so this is the default and we need this thing for this so oh this should be ios 
and same this should also be iOS iOS and now we are good I guess so this is yeah, everything is working fine we have this no this is not fine right there is this it is also cutting off mm, let's go to the female gender where is it wait male female and this 35 is not working 40 okay we could have it 40 for now fine so on ios now everything is fine we have all these things working this button now let's check how android version is looking now with all these changes so it's coming up so it's here and okay we messed up i guess let's see what is the issue here hmm so male female icons are fine these height width labels are fine buttons design is okay this margin with this margin we messed up let's see what is the issue that means this should be android yeah and the same thing this should be android android okay and after that when we change these so the shadow we need to fix this as well so let's fix this for this image button we have this shadow 55 because it was related to this corner radius on android so let's have the same approach for this also hmm. on platform 55 60 for radius save it it is not picking up these changes and what else shadow image button white padding fine let's try to rerun it so it came and everything looks fine again on android let's check ios again so we have our ios okay so ios is here and we can see everything is looking good again it looks smooth and good on ios right the design system the slider it looks good okay so so for this video i guess this is all what we are going to do in this video and now in next video we are going to continue on our coding part basically the bmi calculation then showing the correct status or maybe before that let's okay so maybe before that in next video we are going to organize this main page.xaml file so right now it is 
monolithic piece of code there are so many things going on this main page dot xaml so we should try to create separate controls control views we are going to create different content views and we'll move these codes to there so for example this male and female these two we can use one control and we can use same then maybe for this height and width height and weight we could use one control view and for this button so if you remember the initial image which i showed you so when we click on sorry when we click on this button it would calculate the bmi and then it is going to show the bmi value here with a status message for that bmi value and in that case this button is going to be swapped with another button which is going to be reset button so for this button we had a lot of designing so these uh, having the shadow this icon toolkit uh, behavior icon color behavior tint color behavior basically then having this background corner radius margin padding all these things so if we do same thing again for some other button uh, that reset button so it will be kind of duplicated so we could create a separate control for that and we could simply pass the parameters for what the icon basically image source and we could pass what should happen when we click on that button so we are going to do all those things in next part so for this part and like this video if you like my content and share this video and don't forget to subscribe this channel and press that bell icon so that you get the notification whenever i upload the next part of this so most probably all these parts are going to be